Hello and welcome to things you might not know in Tarkov. So I'm going to start with some obvious things first and then move down to some more obscure things. Hopefully there is something in here for everyone. I'm just going to splurge a bunch of information and hopefully some of it will stick. Hope you enjoy. Bind discard to a de easier button so when you're searching uh, something you can discard in your inventory. Just guys pockets. I can drop whatever I like on the floor whilst I'm searching. Uh, just to speed up some looting. Using alt click and control click you can auto equip and auto select over across from a dead body to your inventory. Once you've killed a player, instead of checking the magazines that he has in his rig, just unload one bullet and click and drag that one bullet across all of his mags and any that are full will show up full because they can't put an extra 31 bullets in a 30 round magazine. To check your firing mode without making a noise all you need to do is press alt b instead of b and you'll check it silently instead of making a clicking noise because if there's someone around you then they're going to hear it to do a cool thing with blind fire and ads all you need to do is be in blind fire around a cover and you need to release alt s and whilst releasing alt s you lean with e and right and ads or right click down the scope so your gun never actually leaves the corner of the uh, the position but then you stick your face behind the gun so you can aim so it's really good for suppressing blindly and then once they've ducked into cover then you're already ADS ready to go. You should preemptively load mounted guns so when you want to use them you can just hop on them straight away and fire instead of having to pump the grenade launcher up or cock the gun uh, it just saves a small amount of time and you can kill a lot of players like this. Guys inside the building. Yeah. yeah. We're at the stairs. Okay. Yeah. The guy the 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 We're in the building, Sham. That's yeah, I'm in the building terrifying, well. dude. guess that I really like mounted guns. I don't know what gives that impression but not every scav needs to die. Scav can be used as an alarm um, especially if they indirectly tell you some information meaning that if they're not dead there's no players there because a player would either kill it or they'd be firing at that player so just because a scav is alive you don't have to kill every single scav you can just use them as, as sort of alarms. Next thing you might not know is to check uh, lobbies when to when you're going into a raid so just to check what you're fighting. Uh, it's this is not indicative of how many people are actually queuing on customs, but it gives you a rough idea. So there's a level 40, a few level 15s. This is just normal customs at 1 p.m. However, if I go on to nighttime, significantly less amount of people. Again, it's not indicative of how many people are actually queuing on the map. It's just giving you a rough idea of how many people choose day over night. So you can go into raid accordingly. The next thing you might not know is the golden hour. So I call that 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and this is when there is still daylight left in the evening raid and there is still a morning raid. So if we click on the 6 p.m. raid, five people, again not indicative of how many people are actually queuing but it just shows. And then the 6 a.m. one, tons of people. People switch over to get most out of their long raid but there is a sweet spot here at 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and maybe 8 p.m. onwards where it's not dark and you can still run a quieter raid. Next thing you might not know is to use a compass on woods. I have no idea where the fuck I am. So, yeah. Some high mounted scopes won't allow you to e, uh, lean left and right um, whilst looking down the scope. They, you lean too quickly for the scope to follow up. So all you need to do is use Alt D and A um, to slowly lean left and right and that will counteract the fast leaning. Fucking woods. The MOA number, right here. Let's forget about barrels, grips, sights, magazines, bullets for a sec, hand, hand guards, things like that. Screw all that. Fuck it off. Who gives a shit? 
it's too too complicated even for me i don't even know so the most important things you need to know is your moa number the lower the better the lower that number is the more accurate your gun's going to be uh this number is heavily based on your durability um after 50 percent you lose a lot of accuracy, so be mindful of your gun's durability. The scope placement. So here I have an ADAR. Very nice scope on it, very clear. It's um, The scope is sitting far back on the gun. And this is the AK-103 that I found. And the scope's at the front. Look at the difference that makes. You've got, to, you've got to aim through that and shoot someone in the head. It's more important where you place the scope on the gun. The further down the barrel, the smaller the scope will be. So the further back it is, the bigger it is, the more clarity you get from your scope. Don't worry about different different kinds of bullets and what kind of damage they do. All you need to know is whether they have high damage or high pen. High pen usually won't one hit in the chest, whereas high damage will usually one hit in the chest. But that means you have to play slightly differently. If you're having high damage rounds, you need to shoot in the legs and the face or the head. Um, or if you have high pen, just uh, usually aim for the face try and get through their, their their face armor, their head armor, and try and kill them in one hit. However, if you have high damage and low pen, then all you need to do is aim for the legs and leg mount, or aim for the face if they're, if they're not wearing any shield. Don't try and body them in the face. It depends on how you want to play the game, but don't worry about this, that, and the other, and which, arm, which bullet goes through which tier. Just have high damage or high pen. It's up to you. Just pick one and move on from there. Don't have to confuse yourself with all these kind of different rounds. Time of day doesn't just affect how bright the raid is, it also affects uh, morning or evening where the sun is pointing. If you look on the screen now, I am in a 10am raid and I'm looking from 3 storey to 2 stack dorms and I can see right into the windows and I have perfect clarity in all the windows because the sun is behind me looking right into those windows. Alternatively, if I go to 2 stack, you can see that I'm looking into 3 stack and it's pitch black because the sun is pointing at me and not into the windows, so be wary of that. Early morning, three stack can see into two stack, and in the evening, two stack can see into three stack. It, it also matters about whether it's overcast or raining, because that also affects the sunlight, sunlight, but usually it's just morning or evening. I use dorms for this example just because dorms it has a east and west facing windows. It also works on reserve and other maps. As well. This is the end of this video. If you liked what you see, I stream on Twitch. I stream most weekdays and some weekends, depending on how I'm feeling, and also yeah, hit subscribe and uh, I'll make some more. I wanted to do some map specific ones, um, things that you might not know on customs and all the maps. So if you like this video, I will try and do a map things you don't know. I'll leave this video now with one piece of general advice. There is always one more.